was great. So today we're talking about the artist Vasily Kandinsky. He's a Russian artist and he made something called modern art or abstract art. And that just means that he didn't start off thinking about, oh, I want to make a house or I want to make a dog or I want to make a fish. He didn't make an object. He only used shapes and lines and colors to paint his abstract art. The one that we're going to be looking at today is called Circles in a Circle. And we're going to use that as our inspiration to make our artwork. We're going to be doing something like this. So you're going to need today for the lesson, you're going to need some circle things of different sizes to draw around. I have just little lids, little pots, uh, a CD, a plate. You will need a ruler and crayon or crepa. And I'm so excited I have some tempera paint. So if you don't have that, you can use any other kind of paint or you can even just use your crayons to color in as well. Okay, so you're gonna be using circles to make a picture. Yours probably won't look exactly like mine or like any of your friends because you're gonna be able to place your circles wherever you want. You can use your paper, you can put it landscape, you can put it portrait, you decide how you want it to be to start. And then you're just gonna take your circle that you got and you can place them anywhere and just draw around. I like the CD because it's got that little one in the middle as well. You can overlap them. You can use a big circle. Maybe put some small ones inside. It's going to be your design. You can do as many as you want or as few as you want but you do want to fill the page somewhat. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add a few lines. You could stop at that if you like. I'm just gonna add some lines to add a little interest, so a few little straight lines with my ruler. Um, maybe I'll have one here. And that just gives me some interesting, it makes new shapes for me. It cut these circles into other little parts. Okay, so now with your crayon or your crepa, you are just going to trace over the circles you already made. With any colours you like. Okay, now once you've traced everything, and bring it back to this one, everything is traced, you are going to colour. Now, like I said earlier, you can use paint or you can use your crayon for crepa or markers, whatever you have. And you can paint as much as you want or as little as you want. I am excited that I have these tempera paints. Any adults who are watching there with your children, if you have a child who paints a lot, I would say these are a great thing to get. They're, they work like a watercolour, so you would just use water. All the children know how to use them. We use them in school all the time and they last a long time. That's what I mainly like about them. Um, and they're not in a bottle, so you're not like pouring out a lot of paint and wasting it. So I just thought I'd let you know that. Okay, so... I have all my circles traced, my lines traced, and now I'm just gonna paint some parts. I started to paint a few already, and 
Maybe I will paint this space here. You can paint as much. You can paint as little as you want. You could leave some parts white. It's going to be your painting. I'm just going to paint one more part. I want to paint this part at the top here. Um, and then I think I might leave it like that. So let me just paint this part. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed learning about Kandinsky. I can't wait to see how your circles look. And that's all.